Well, folks, this video is only going to cover the championship fight of UFC 229. There's too much to talk about during the fight and a lot to get to after the fight that is going to change this sport forever. I just got done. The fight just ended and the madness afterwards just ended. So I haven't heard about any of the fallout yet. Um, I imagine at the press conference there's going to be some serious penalties for Khabib Nurmagomedov's actions, but we'll get to that. Let's try to put the crazy shit down until we get through what was otherwise, you know, besides all the drama, a phenomenal fight. And uh, I was wrong. Khabib did not win by five-round uh, decision. And I was wrong about what the key techniques were. Uh, Conor McGregor never really successfully used his pawing right hand technique to try to prevent takedowns. And Khabib didn't do a single wrist ride. But I was right about who won this fight. So let's get to it. Uh, the first round, uh, Khabib gets a takedown early. And he doesn't get a lot of damage on Conor. Uh, he, only in the last like 30 seconds after kind of laying praying uh, with the leg pin technique that I should have talked about where he sort of grapevines the legs and twists them like this so uh, Connor couldn't get back up. Uh, but there was not hardly anything that happened all around one. The fans were extremely restless because it was a lay and pray thing like I had predicted. Uh, round two, about 30 seconds in, nobody expected uh, Connor starts, you know, throwing a lot of uh, teep kicks, uh, throwing out his jab, and Khabib senses some disrespect in the hand placement of Connor McGregor and fucking H bombs him just <sighs> all the way around and just rocks Connor's head back with a shocking, like, Dan Henderson punch. It was phenomenal, and at 50 seconds into the round, he's already taking Connor down against the cage. Uh, McGregor does uh, avoid Khabib's only real attempt at a wrist ride. Uh, would not let uh, Khabib g get his hold of his hand. So clearly Connor did do his homework. And believe me, his takedown defense and wrestling looked very much improved in this fight, as did his cardio. But once uh, Khabib got kind of into a stack guard, uh, where he was, you know, Connor got a full guard, but Khabib just posted up, tripoded, and just started fucking wailing on him, immediately uh, swelling all over the left side of uh, Connor's face from right hands. McGregor began to cheat, which Herb Dean, who's not a very good referee in my opinion, didn't catch. Uh, Connor was landing shots to the back of the head. Connor was hooking his toes in the cage. Connor was grabbing Khabib's shorts. He was trying everything he could. None of it worked. Um... Herb Dean is shit, I have here in my notes. But McGregor did make it to his feet twice, only to get taken back down. Round three, uh, Connor uh, boxes early, um, but he actually manages to stuff a double leg shot in the middle of the, the cage. So Connor's takedown defense looked great, at least early. Uh, but then Khabib started landing more right hooks. Connor had, you know, Connor's got a phenomenal chin, and he didn't have any respect for Khabib's power. And he never looked particularly in danger, but he was getting hit. And Connor either has a chin made out of titanium or he just never shows when he's hurt. I think it's the former. Uh, Connor did land one of his nuclear bomb left straights and Khabib was equally unfazed. Uh, Khabib responds to this left straight with a literal Stockton slap. He Stockton slaps him, points to Connor and shows the crowd his hand like I slapped you. Uh, about four minutes in, he lands another takedown against the cage, but Connor doesn't stay down long. Uh, Connor's takedown defense is looking pretty good. Round four, Connor's landing, uh, glancing blows. Khabib gets another big right overhand, just whops Connor. Connor, uh, takes it like a champ, but his face is very badly swollen. However, um, here we are in the championship rounds. Connor does not look tired. He looks an equal amount of fatigue as, uh, Khabib, which is to say not very much. Neither man's breathing particularly uh, particularly hard. Connor is sweating more, but that yeah, doesn't say much. Um, about a minute in, after Connor lands some tee kicks, Khabib gets another takedown. At this point, I think in the fight, he's four of seven. So he's taking him down a lot. Uh, Connor does get back up only to get taken down again. He gets the legs pinned again between his legs. Connor gives up his back um, uh, and actually gets back to his feet. Uh, Khabib wraps his arms around him and gives him the old classic uh, back throw. 
uh, ends up behind Connor and does a very slick ta uh, transition almost right out of the UFC video game. S uh, transitions into the mount, starts punishing Connor. Connor gives up his back again. Uh, Khabib secures a neck crank, uh, modified rear naked choke style thing. Basically, he did not have the neck, but he just arm around Connor's chin and twist it around. And McTapper strikes again. And then all fucking hell breaks loose. Khabib, rather than celebrating, rushes to the cage and begins jawjacking some uh, a douche who looks like Lance Bass from uh, or Lance Bass from fucking NC. I don't know who this guy is. I didn't even bother to look him up, but clearly he said something enough to piss Khabib off. And uh, Khabib made some very bad choices. Khabib leaps out of the crowd or out of the cage flies onto this guy like fucking WWE style and starts wailing at him. Security gets in, um, and it's like a bench clear brawl. All of Connor's team is trying to get a hold of Khabib Nurmagomedov. There's dozens upon dozens of security people getting into this melee, and, and Connor and this, uh, excuse me, Khabib and this guy are wailing on each other. And then even worse, um, one of Khabib's teammates climbs the cage i thought he was a fan at first and sucker punches connor in the back of the head and starts wailing on him connor turns around and starts fighting more security gets into the cage um this uh pogrom goes on for a long ass time connor of course has dignity he didn't protest his uh, defeat he didn't throw a fit he didn't try to instigate anybody he was calm and once they managed to separate him and khabib's teammate he was just back to being calm as could be that guy, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention before the fight, Khabib looked scared. Connor did not. Khabib literally looked scared. Um, of course, he won and dominated Connor McGregor completely, bell to bell, won all four rounds, no problem, but he looked scared. And clearly, um, I was also wrong about trash talk getting to Khabib. It very clearly did. Um, I was convinced that Dana White was going to strip uh, Connor on the spot. There's probably riots going on in Las Vegas as we speak. I'm not looking into that. Like I said, I decided to record this immediately. Uh, Jesus, uh, there are fans throwing trash in the ring. Uh, Dana White, uh, Khabib made it back into the ring. The fact that anybody let him back into the ring after what, what he did is ridiculous. Um, I lost a metric fuck ton of respect for Khabib for this. This is unprecedented fuckery. This is way worse than Connor's Dolly bullshit, and Connor, I think, should have been fired and barred from the United States for his Dolly bullshit, but, you know, I think, personally, and it hasn't happened yet, but it very well might, it may be getting discussed as we speak in the press conference, um, I think Khabib should be stripped of the title and fired. Um, it shows I'm not a fanboy, I think that there's some shit that you just do not do. Um, Khabib demands his belt, um, his AKA teammates, Luke Rockhold and Daniel Cormier are talking to him, uh, trying to keep him from throwing another fit. Uh, Dana White comes in and I can hear Dana White over the cacophony of the crowd and the fact that there's a billion security people yelling in the fucking cage. Uh, Dana White yells to, uh, Khabib, I cannot put this belt on you. I cannot put this belt on you or people will riot, people will get hurt. And I go like, oh God, he's stripping him. So they clear uh, Khabib and his repertoire out of the ring. They give Connor and his uh, repertoire the chance to leave first. So everybody gets cleared out, and Bruce Buffer is standing alone in the cage. Uh, says, you know, winner round four, rear naked choke, and still your champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Uh, the crowd is booing. And the thing is, the crowd cheered when uh, Khabib won. And some of the crowd did boo. Uh, Khabib on his entrance, and some of them did boo when Khabib was just doing all his wrestling work for minute after minute in the cage. Not that many people booed. Uh, uh, Las Vegas has got great fans, very educated fans. They cheered in the right places, booed in the right places all throughout the night. I commend the crowd. I didn't see riots by the close of the program. I can't speak for what probably happened in the parking lot. Um, but... Khabib probably does not have many fans left in the world uh, after his actions, because I guarantee you that he will be booed endlessly until the end of time if he continues working for the UFC. Um, this was some horrible shit. Anyway, I'm going to end this here. I'm going to upload this first. You'll probably get both of my uploads uh, back to back here, but I am going to now separately 
cover the rest of the card. Um, thanks for watching. I'm fucking pissed about what happened. I'm, I'm not all that happy to, uh, you know, and uh, I win too many bets with my friends. They insisted that they would only pay me out if I said, uh, got what I wanted, which was Khabib wins by five rounds. Khabib finished Connor, which I did not expect. Um, um, so I, I let my friends off the hook because they said, uh, Connor by TKO in the second. That didn't happen either. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, Khabib did better than I thought he would. Uh, he destroyed Connor, but he made a complete and utter fucking ass of himself and destroyed his reputation immediately afterwards. Um, I may cover the fallout after this. We'll see. I'm going to probably watch uh, the press conference on playback or watch some highlights and maybe get back to you in the morning. Thanks for watching.